All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time for Honest Trader Time. That's right, in my Hot Banger Trader Tuesday Marathon. So yeah, it's hot, um, Trader Tuesdays. We got hot, um, Honest Trailers. So this time, this is gonna be an Honest Trailer of so far my favorite movie of the year, Doom Part Two. Already, I got an Honest Trailer. So I'm excited to see this Doom Part Two was so freaking awesome. I Max, by the way. So and also, I've heard that it's gonna be on Max May 21st already, which is on. Next Tuesday, next Tuesday. I mean, damn, already next Tuesday. I had to look at my calendar by the way, but damn. Next Tuesday, so I'm excited to see it once again. So Hot Squad, without further ado, we're gonna check out the honest trailers of Doom Part 2 for Screen Junkies. So let's get straight to it. From a director who's still not sold on the talkies <laughs> comes a sequel so beloved. Fans took one look at the merch and tried to put their d*** oh, in it. How sensual. Easy going <laughs> in, tricky coming out. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a child for these. Dune, so. part two. Return to Arrakis, where the natives have adapted to global warming. <laughs> oh, warming. Catch up with space gentrifier Paul Atreides. Watch him grow from microdosing that spice <laughs> to rip and dab straight from the chalice <laughs> as he survives the harsh desert armed only with his wits. A prophecy about his arrival, a magic wizard bomb, the <laughs> galaxy's best hype man, precognition, yeah. plot armor, and a <laughs> trust fund full of Bob. nukes. 92 original Atreides family's atomic warheads. Follow <laughs> along on his only real challenge, seducing an idiot girl and turning <laughs> an eastern adjacent family <laughs> because art imitates life. Damn. And Will <laughs> as Paul wins over all of Fremen society by saying, yeah, what you said, for two hours. <laughs> I prefer Johnny. I prefer Johnny too. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. I would strike even further north. Then I will go further north. Chelsea, so She's her. right! It's no miracle. <laughs> then, once he's earned their trust, flips out at them to lease on up, or he'll gaive you something to cry about. Lisa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Now go out and shake some word for daddy. <laughs> Papa likes his spice fresh. <laughs> Remember Chani? Paul's literal dream girl? She's gone from staring off into the distance like a perfume commercial. <laughs> oh, shit. To staring at Paul. I like, that. Are you serious with this shit? <laughs> 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 While it dawns on her that her tribe doesn't just like her boyfriend, they like, like her boyfriend. Hey guys. Listen to guys. Falling for the Fremen prophecy of... And the American prophecy of... There's a sucker born every minute. Hmm. <laughs> They're like dusty vampires. No, 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 no! This... That's a lot of water. Johnny. Experience no, Paul and Shawnee's epic romance as the backdrop to a high-stakes game of civilization <laughs> in that each faction has its own leaders and abilities and it takes forever to finish. <laughs> like the Benny Gesserit playing their own little game of crones led by Lady Jessica who drinks the sacred blue Gatorade that traps <laughs> one of cranky grandmas in her brain. <laughs> <laughs> Not while you're pregnant, that's how you make a boss baby. <laughs> the Harkonnens, a pack of shaved nuts with the galaxy's <laughs> highest rate of employee us. turnover. <laughs> Featuring a baron who's smart enough to rule Arrakis for <laughs> the safety of reverse Barbie land. A film nephew with one emotion. Your film nephew. Pissed. And a scion who gives Orange County's Austin Butler a chance <laughs> to finally ditch his Elvis accent. Yeah. How did you get past the guards? Oh, thank you, Baron. Thank you very Piss. much. Now come over here and give me a little kiss. Piss. Now another one. Mmm, that's nasty. Piss. Like a really old peanut butter and banana sandwich, man. Piss. Then there's the Spacing Guild, who's not in this one? Mm. Hello, Denis. Are you really gonna let the miniseries beat you on this? The guild miniseries. does not take your order. And but. a perfectly cast Imperial family, featuring Florence Pugh as a girl Timmy proposes to, as is tradition. Mm. Yeah, yes. little women. And yep. Christopher Walken as himself. Yeah, basically, yeah. 
investigated the South, regions of Arrakis. <laughs> what? You thought I was a weird choice to play the Emperor? Come on, I've been preparing since 2001. <laughs> What's that, the worm? Settle in for an audio-visual experience that will delight the senses. And if you see it in 40X, rock your butthole <laughs> from the worm riding sequence that's so immersive, yeah. you won't stop to wonder, how do they get off that thing? Right. The graceful floating suit tech that looks super fun to try. That was nice. That was a neat part, though. <laughs> I think that's practical, too. <laughs> The mysterious space tattoos of inscrutable design. Make reasonable this choices. Is, the sequence on Gady Prime that hits right when your edible peaks. <laughs> and anytime something really cool happens, Hans Zimmer plays that sweet ah yep. sound. Yes. Come on, that's like a Chico to make any moment feel epic. Yeah. Watch. Oh, no, no matter, man. I love the, the music score, though. Daredevil, oh no, not Daredevil. <laughs> oh, Bridge of Fire, oh no. No, no, not this movie. Let's show them. So rest easy, knowing we've uh, willed even more Dune movies into existence that will get more and more explicit about not trusting quirked up white boys with the sauce because <laughs> us book lovers know how the golden path unfolds. Dune Part 1 laid the groundwork. Dune 2 paid it off. Yep. Dune 3 will probably be kind of boring without some big changes. <laughs> but Dune 4 and up? Oh boy. Oh, that wow. is when things are going to get really crazy. Hmm. Trust me. Hmm. You said that three dunes ago. <laughs> Spaceballs. Starring Wadeep Controller 360, <laughs> Jihadi at Hello, <laughs> Post Milan, Post Milan, Step Three, Prophet, <laughs> a poet, and he knows it. Oh yeah, I remember the that. Old guard, old guard, a little less conversation, <laughs> a little hard coding. Drax, if he never joined the Guardians, <laughs> I got a fever, and the only prescription is my spice bars. <laughs> The Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Crimes of the Distant the Future. Oh, yeah. That mini boss orc from The Hobbit. Yes. Filthy <laughs> water. Damn. It's full of chemicals, but good enough for cooling systems. The Sunny. <laughs> the Sunny. The reason you got a bidet. Yes. My Duke. When you leave the suburbs for the first time, <laughs> there's spice in the food. And when you don't know what your cousin is talking about, I play along to look cool. May thy knife shatter and shatter. May thy knife chip and shatter. Hmm. That was a great fight, too. Tune. Tune. Ant Man with Human Hands from Part 1 is out. This year's hottest look is Hornhead Hookman from Part 2. The hell? How much dead could it dip? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that, that was hilarious, man. That was great, man. But yeah, doing part two was definitely freaking epic, man. It was so epic. That was funny as hell when he used the part when um, Hans Zimmer, the Hans Zimmer part with the, with the, the they wailing with Nomadland, Daredevil, and Transformers Rise of Fallen. That was, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny as crap. As far as Dorn, you know, he, she, her, her stomach was hurting and whatnot, and she was crapping in the bucket. If you've not seen the movie, you already know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it was just weird, weird stuff there. But yeah, I love how he used Daredevil. Here's a fun for that. But yeah, overall, man, overall, this this was a great honest trailers. Great honest trailers, man. Great job, green screen junkies. Great job. So if you enjoyed my reaction to the honest trailers for Doom Part Two, of course, hit like button, cross share your thoughts. Have you seen Doom Part Two yet? Are you going to see Doom Part Two when it hits on Max? Have you seen on digital recently? And uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited for Doom Messiah coming out soon. So. Yeah, no, most definitely, most definitely. I gotta pull up my phone. Hold on, hold on. Gotta pull up my phone. I usually do this so I can make sure I stay on track with all my um, cherry reactions for today. <clears throat> okay, yes. All right, Hot Squad. So, please stay tuned because Season 4 of The Boys, the official trailer, has dropped recently from Prime Video. I'm honestly excited for this. I've already finished Season 3 back in February, finally. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.